Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Fuan Tech. I'm right here with my friend. Um, forget your name, dog. What's your name again? Alex. Oh yeah, yeah, Alex. My bad, man. Just short-term memory loss. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just met this guy uh, from work. He's installing a MSI BS20 Pro BD uh, Genu G something Pentium processor with uh, eight gigs of RAM DDR4. You no, know, he had a problem with it. He had bent pins. I unbent them back and put them back where they were. And then uh, he put the wrong, you know, CP socket. But the, I just I, I adjusted it so it's it's working perfectly. So I'm teaching him how to you know put his computer together, you know. And he, I told him the first thing: don't ever do this, guys. Don't glue your stuff. You know, that's a bad thing. Uh, and on top of it, do never ever use a sharpened knife because. He, he did a little damage, but it still worked. He got lucky, but you know he's learning as as he goes, and that's the good thing that he came to me, just to show you guys what you know, what we tech the tech community do, try to help out the other ones, you know. And so, all right. So this is his budget system. His graphic card is a MSI T uh, MSI uh, 1050 Ti. I, I got the 2 gig, you got the 4 gig, lucky bastard. Anyways, <laughs> so um, the first thing you're going to do is put your, um, your, your standoffs, remember? Line it up and make sure where you need to put this, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, okay. Okay. Something's not pushing it in. This one right here. So look, you need this one, this hole, and this hole. The rest of the holes you got just need you need a standoff for this hole and this hole. So just these two, just these two raw holes, holes right here, right there, and right there. What if uh, what if the screws that I'm screwing in aren't like long enough and they won't reach it? Because they only reach these two right here. They have to reach your your case has to come with additional screw uh, standoff uh, long lateners. They have to come. You know what I mean? Not the screws. They're called stand. You see you see how you have two standoffs right there? Look. Yeah. Those two are your standoffs. That's why you only have two of them in there. Because so the rest of them already are your system already has them standing off like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, so I'm just gonna use these. Yeah. And then the screws are these. Look, these are the screws. Okay, we're gonna open this up. Look. Okay. You see this? These are your standoffs. You see, on. these are the ones that go right there in the hole. But since you use the other one, it's fine. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> That's why they only give you a few standoffs. Just this hole and this hole. Right. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna pause the video so you guys can um, just stay tuned to, for the next part. Okay, so now he put in his power supply. He mounted the the screw right on the on the on the on the motherboard, the mount out screws. Yeah, he did a little mistake of putting one of the the outer screws in the motherboard. So don't ever do that. You know what I mean? Don't ever put the screws from the outer motherboard into the main motherboard because you're gonna mess up the threads. Okay. Hey, he's he's a novice. He's a very first built person, and um, I'm just trying to help him out here. You know what I mean? So he's doing all the work himself. I just only that part he owes me the, the pins where I, you know fix. Like I said once again. But anyways, um, now he's gonna put in connect it, manage his cables, and um, connect this graphic card. Oh, your graphic card. It's in the room actually. Yeah. We'll go get it right now. So yeah, stay tuned to the next one. So now he got his his graphic card installed and his power supply. He already connected the the uh, 24 pin and the and the tw and the 20 and the 8 pin. I mean, you guys probably can't see because there's there's light, but if you get it closer, you see it's already connected. Now we got to probably mess with the the front panel. We're gonna get the manual going on the internet, and um after that, you know. We're gonna install Windows into his hard drive, and that's it. Pretty much. All right. Stay tuned. Oh, so he got his computer running. 
it says well you don't have anything so on your hard drive so here's his computer that's his built that's a MSI TI 50 50 TI 4 gigs uh, G something 30 something Pentium processor with a DDR, DDR4 RAM wow it lights up pretty nice uh, your top ones didn't light up man no so it was probably a problem with it didn't light up so we'll, we'll see what's wrong with that right now is it connected correctly right there these are no not those not that one your 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 rgbs your fan your fan's not working either so those aren't getting power no and this one's supposed to be turning on it's not turning on either so but anyways we'll continue with this video until we turn on everything okay. oh yeah first off let's connect the, the power and everything in here are we gonna have a moment of truth if you don't even know okay Plug in the DVI to see if it's the signal. Okay, moment of truth. There it is. Yeah, well, your top. Oh, yeah, the top one's light up now. Told you it was flipped around. Now your whole system is lighting up sick with it. You, your fan and everything. You know what I mean? So there you go, man. <clears throat> yeah, I fixed your pins. And I hope you built it together, and that's it. Thank you for watching, and my friend Alex here. And um, subscribe if you like my videos. Press a thumbs up, and then I'll catch you guys later.